Guess which video number this is. Technically, and I say technically because it's only true in the fact that it's technically true, this will be my 300th upload. Yay! Nothing special for this one because there's actually a couple of videos that used to be uploaded that aren't uploaded anymore just because I didn't feel like uploading them. And so I'd be over 300 videos right now if I had uploaded all of my old videos. The ones that I didn't upload, are you're not missing anything. There's the Missing Fate video, the Best Man speech, which I will upload at one point again. Um, the first contest, I think, is not up. Maybe. The You Guess My Appearance one, because I didn't want to, well, I do want a whole bunch more people to try, but I didn't want to sow so much confusion. Because uh, it was scheduled to go up right when everybody was thinking that I was posting new videos and they were all acting like they were brand new. They might very well have been brand new to that person, but I didn't want anybody feeling cheated because I posted a video asking for them to explain, you know, guess my appearance and they'll win a prize and then not giving them anything. Plus, it's been a long time coming. This game that I'm going to play, you all know what it is already. I looked it up. Um, I didn't look up my video, which would have been a lot easier, but 11 months ago, almost a year ago, I was going to play Super Mario Bros. 2, and um, I didn't, because right before I finished whatever game I was playing, and I'm not sure what game it was, Billy MC started playing Super Mario Bros. 2. And I don't have a problem doing the same LP as other people. I don't even really have a problem doing the same LP as other people while they're doing it. As long as it's not someone that I'm watching all their videos. So I held off. And then everything just kept piling on top of each other to the point where now, almost a year later, I finally get to play Super Mario Brothers. You may be wondering which version won the vote. It was a tie for the posted votes. Half of the people wanted the new one, half of the people wanted the old one, and since I'm the tie-breaking vote, I'm going with the old one. Because um, when I started playing it, getting ready to do my uh, videos last time, a year ago, I played through the, the whole game um, in All-Stars. And that I think that's what Billy played, too, was All-Stars. I think he was playing the Lost Levels in All-Stars, and that's what got me thinking All-Stars would be a good one to do. But since I've already played through it all the way that way, I'm going to do it this way now. I'm leaving this picture up here as long as possible because I want to be able to get this as the thumbnail for the video. Please, 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 YouTube, give me this as the thumbnail for the video. It's kind of a shoddy job uh, on Mario's head there, but I had to do a lot of work in MS Paint in order to get that to go. So, let's go to the game. Get the music going. And we are going to listen to the opening story, because I'm not going to do the normal intro video. When Mario opened a door after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world spread before him and he heard a voice call for help to be freed from a spell. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby and to his surprise he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Push start. So if you grew up with a Nintendo in the 80s, like I did, then this game was not what you expected when you got Mario 2. You were thinking of more of the same of the original Mario, but instead you got this. And this is not a bad game at all. This is a fun game. I enjoyed playing this game as a kid a lot. There are plenty of secrets, plenty of little exploration you can do. Um, each of the characters here has an ability. I'm pretty sure everybody here has played this game, but I'm going to go through it anyway. Because the levels are so short, I'm going to finish the first level by the end of time. Mario is your average character. He has his average speed, average jumping, average uh, picking of vegetables from the ground. This is Luigi. He is he jumps higher than everybody else. Toad picks stuff up out of the ground faster than anybody else. And Princess floats. 
Now, as a little uh, secret, I have never played this game as anyone other than the princess. And I am going to continue playing as the princess. Because being able to float is just too big of an advantage. And I'm already sucking. Okay, there we go. Bonk. The controls... Uh, the buttons are different between... Go through the door. Oh, you can't while you're holding stuff. Not the closed doors. My Super Nintendo is set up with the A and B buttons switched compared to the regular Nintendo because of the... I think Dodgeball is the game where I wanted it switched around. So now I gotta get used to going the other way. Come here, you. I hate you. Whee. You get magic potions. When you drop a magic potion, it creates a magic door. The door takes you to the other dimension. Sometimes there are mushrooms in the other dimension. And if you pick any of the stuff out of the ground while you're in the other dimension, they turn into coins. Why am I not getting the coins right now? Because they, uh, when you finish the level, you get to play a slot machine. And it takes a while. So if I get a whole bunch of coins, it just extends the video uselessly. Wee bonk. Wee bonk. The game is really nice up front, just gives you a one-up right off the bat. Go away. Everything so far has been pretty easy. Like I said, everybody's already played this game before. They know what's going on. Bonk. If you haven't played this game before, tell me in the comments. And I will be even more explicit in letting you know all of everything about this game. So here we can't get up here. There is a run button. If you just hold the button that picks stuff up out of the ground, I think it's B. I'm not sure. Because like I said, I've got them switched around. Head through this door. I'm going to go the long way. That was a stopwatch I pulled. It freezes all the enemies. After you kill a certain number of enemies, hearts will come up from the ground. Uh, so you can replenish your energy. And if you get five cherries, you get a star. And I believe that was added into the game. For those who don't know, and I know everybody already does, this is... Uh, when they made the actual second Super Mario Brothers game, which is called Super Mario Brothers 2 in Japan, you can super jump by holding down until you start flashing. Um, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I'm really good at putting them right on the mushroom. It's like I already know where the mushrooms are. <laughs> When it came out in Japan, they felt that the difficulty level of the game was too high for Americans, that we would become frustrated by the game. And so, instead, they took a game called Doki Doki Panic, which was based, I think, on a TV show, and in uh, imported that as Super Mario Bros. 2. They just changed all of the sprites around for the main characters. Uh... You can stand on these guys' heads, which is what I'm trying to do here. There we go. And here's the boss. And so, we got this game instead. And then later on, we got their Super Mario Bros. 2 as our Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. And they ported this game back to Japan as Super Mario Bros. USA. Yay! You're dead. Grab the orb. That opens the mouth, and then you head through the door. And this is where you'd play the uh, slot machine game. Now, we hit reset, go back into the game, and this is what I was going to do. I'm going to have to think up a better system for it in a little while, but I was originally wanting to just not, s well, kind of speedrun the game. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Wee, wee. It's not a very long level. I can beat it in the remaining time. Yay! Not what I wanted to do. Also not what I wanted to do. Run! Faster! We must be done with this place. If I get hit once, I die. Ah! And the uh, stopwatches are... not permanent. They show up every once in a while. Wee! Wee! Jump! Okay, come here. Go down there. Thank you. Now here's the terrible part. Ah, I 
I totally missed that. If I don't make it this time, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Gotta come over here. Go through the door. Come on. Go back. You have to be able to hit those uh, bombs right. Otherwise, badness happens. So you gotta wait till they start flashing. If I had a little bit more health, I would have been a little bit better at that because I'm afraid of getting touched. Can I beat Birdo in 30 seconds? Only if he'll let me. Shield. Oh, come on. Jump down right into it. Oh well, you get the idea. We'll continue tomorrow and I'll have more to say. I have two tests uh, tomorrow and a quiz today, so I'm not really thinking about this that much. Alright, bye-bye.